TextBlaze helps you automate repetitive typing, but it also helps you tailor your message to every situation and get to the right message without having to memorize multiple shortcuts. In this video, I'll show you how to create powerful snippets with dynamic output so that you can get the right message every time. With TextBlaze, you can create drop-down menus and include content that is conditionally dependent on your selection in the menus. The first thing you need to do is add a drop-down menu. Add items to the menu and give it a name. In this example, I've created a drop-down menu for a customer response email. I've copied this drop-down menu and added it to a note command, which makes it show up in preview but is not actually inserted when you insert the snippet. Now we can use TextBlaze's if command to add conditions for each item in the drop-down menu. To do this, you'll need to click the if command, add the form name, type equals, quote, and then the item in the list that you want to add a condition for. Then in the next block, add the item that will be inserted if the condition is met. Now you can see in our example, when cancellation requested is selected, the text shows up. When the other two are selected, it doesn't. TextBlaze's if command also allows multiple conditions. Using the same format, you can set conditions for multiple options in the menu. In this example, I've added a condition where if the troubleshooting item in the list is chosen, text will show up. Now for our examples, I've added a condition for each item in the drop-down menu, and I've added an email template for each item so that when it's chosen, the email template shows up. However, when you try to insert the snippet, you might see that the spacing is a little off. There's a little bit of editing you have to do to fix this. TextBlaze's note command and if command allows you to set a trim setting, which reduces white space in your snippets, which I've added to this example. You can see now when I insert the snippet that the white space is reduced. A nice feature of TextBlaze if commands is that you don't have to just have basic text. You can also add forms and dynamic content in the conditions that you set. Not only that, but TextBlaze also supports nested if commands. In this example, I've added a condition that depends on the subscription costs, and this only shows up if the cancellation request is selected. TextBlaze also allows you to use menus within if commands to create decision trees and get to the right message without having to remember multiple shortcuts. With TextBlaze's dynamic snippet output, you can create templates for any situation. Now, you can create powerful snippets with dynamic output so that you can get the right message every time. As always, feel free to post in our community for help.